parallel space. Based on reality, but beyond imagination. It's a glimpse of the possible future at the China International Fair for Trade in Services. Let's imagine this is a coffee shop in the metaverse, and I'm an avatar. The coffee shop says I can have one of the paintings behind me if I buy a cup of coffee. I really love that one. It has my name on it. I just can't wait to hang it on the wall in my metaverse room and call all my friends come see it. These paintings are a kind of digital collectibles, which include a slew of other products involving images, videos, and sounds. Some say it's hard to imagine what the metaverse will be like in the future, as it's still in its very early stages. But the uncertainties appear to spur numerous tech companies to pick up the pace to find infinite possibilities. Metaverse technologies mainly refer to those in the digital area. The realization of the technologies is based on blockchain technology, because digital assets can be easily replicated. Blockchain technology can provide support to ensure digital assets' uniqueness and non-repeatability. Just like this immersive gallery. And see, paintings are everywhere in this gallery. This is probably what the gallery will be like in the future. No barriers between you and art. No fences and no glasses. You can get as close to every detail as you like. In China, digital collectibles have become a key component of licensing and retail programs for many museums. Since May last year, over 30 of China's top-tier museums have joined the market. One popular digital collectible is the bronze sculpture of a tiger head a highly prized artifact released by Beijing's Poly Art Museum. Experts say it's a new way to reach younger audiences and, crucially, create new sources of income. In fact, digital assets have a huge market. For the digital economy, the circulation of digital assets itself is an important part of the digital economy. With the development of technologies and supervision policies, as well as experience gained from the sandbox, we will enter a promising phase. More than a dozen Chinese cities have announced support for local metaverse market development. As part of efforts for its growth, standards are being developed to regulate the metaverse. But it's no doubt that the digital art hall is trying to create a scenario for how people may get into art in the virtual world. Who knows, maybe in the future, the event itself could take place in the metaverse. Yang Tian, CGTN, Beijing.